words of the agency always answer the call when it matters. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the Governor of Katuna State, has had the distinct honor of coming to the venue twice. Those of us in the whole Europe will understand what I mean. Thank you for, for coming, the Deputy Governor of Katuna State, my brother Anaji Umarada. My brother and colleague, the Honorable Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Anaji Achibu Babuda Uwaka. Thank you for coming. The guest lecturer, Dr. Mohammed Ibn Chambers, thank you for the long journey from New York to Accra and then down to Abuja. Thank you for your service to humanity. Thank you very much for being here. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Sidi Musa. I can see my colleague on the extreme left of the high table, the Honorable Minister of. It is with great honor and privilege and a sense of duty that I address this distinguished gathering today at this historic first international conference organized by the news agency of Nigeria. This gathering is both timely and significant as it provides us with an invaluable opportunity to delve deeply into the root causes of the violence that has ravaged the Sahel region, examine its impact on Nigeria's territorial integrity, and explore the options available to policy strategies based on our security architecture. The news agency of Nigeria stands tall as a beacon of proof, professionalism, integrity in the field of information gathering and dissemination. Over the years, the News Agency of Nigeria has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to ensuring the, that accurate, timely, credible news reaches every corner of our nation and beyond. Through their dedication, they have informed, educated, and enlightened the citizen, thereby playing an indispensable role in shaping public opinion and promoting national unity. As the heartbeat of Nigeria's information network, none has been instrumental in chronicling our nation's journey, capturing every moment of triumph, challenge, and transformation with an objective lens. The attorney's efforts in providing, <coughs> in providing news coverage covers every sector of our national life, from politics to economy, culture, sports, human and human and stories, etc., etc. There, this platform provides an avenue for discussion as created by the news agency of Nigeria. It is also a further testament of their commitment to expanding the frontiers of information dissemination and engagement with critical stakeholders to find solutions to some of the pressing, most pressing and confronting, most pressing problems confronting our dear nation. Let me comment at this juncture the managing director of the news agency of Nigeria, Madam Ali Amali, and his team for organizing this very historic event. It's a heavy day stretching across Africa from the Atlantic Ocean to the Red Sea has become a vortex of instability, violence, and conflict over the years. And those unfortunate scenarios have now escalated into a complex wave of terrorism, organized crime, drug trafficking, smuggling of weapons, and violent extremism. We have witnessed how extremist groups exploit poverty, weak governance structures, and climatic challenges to establish a foothold in the region, which poses a significant threat, not only to the countries directly affected, but also to their neighbors, including Nigeria. Nigeria shares a long and porous border with several civilian counties. 
that are caught up in this conflict, making us vulnerable to the spillover effects of the conflict. This not only threatens our security, but also challenges our capacity to maintain effective control over our borders. Undoubtedly, the eminent speakers, policy makers, and experts brought together by the news agency of Nigeria here today to dissect the root causes of these armed conflicts will develop innovative solutions to tackle the challenges before us. Several scholars and experts had earlier attributed these challenges to social economic marginalization, weak governance structures, environmental degradation, the climate change, transnational organized crime, illegal trafficking in arms, etc., etc., among others, to the entire region. The violence in this hell, therefore, is not an isolated issue, and no single country can tackle it alone. Therefore, Nigeria has stepped up its engagement with its neighbors and other regional and international partners. A threatening joint military operation, such as the multinational joint task force, and also supporting initiatives that aim to stabilize the Sahel region. On the home front, security has remained a top priority of the border and the Chinubu Renew Hope Agenda. And through investment in equipment, manpower, acquisition of war fighting platforms, and intelligence gathering, we are winning the war against insecurity gradually. Since its assumption of office 16 months ago, 12 aircraft have been acquired to boost the fighting capacity of our armed forces, among other investments in the sector. In its independence anniversary two days ago, the President subsequently captured the successes recorded thus and I thought. On the security front, I am happy to announce to you, my compatriots, that our administration is winning the war on terror and banditry. Our target is to eliminate all the threats of Boko Haram, banditry, kidnapping for ransom, and discourage of all forms of violent extremism. By understanding, of course, by understanding the root causes and evaluating the impact on our territorial integrity and implementing strategic policy measures, we can effectively address the challenges posed by this crisis. The task ahead, of course, is daunting, but with determination, collaboration, and united effort, I am confident that we can safeguard Nigeria's territorial integrity and contribute to the restoration of peace and stability in the Sahel region. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I now have the singular honor and privilege to declare the first international conference by the news agency of Nigeria open.